Guys, the shorts are about to leave forever. Disappearing shorts as stocks soar, skeptics surrender. The skeptics of Wall Street have gone missing as the stock market has surged to records unbolded by recession, pandemic and warnings of a dangerous bubble. Activity has dwindled to a nearly two decade low for the traders known as short sellers who make their money by shorting stocks. Guys, this is so beautiful. This saddens nearly no one. From small fry investors to members of Congress, critics paint short sellers as merchants of pain. People around the world celebrated early this year when GameStop stocks suddenly hurted, higher causing billions of dollars in losses for the short sellers. But academics and short sellers themselves say they provide an important service suited for just this moment. Pushing back against stock prices that may be rising too high too fast. Despite concerns about the pace of the economic recovery, the high inflation in the S&P 500 has set 65 all times high so far this year. With the latest coming on Monday, how you can survive as a short seller with 65 all times high. Anyway, some critics say stocks look overly expensive with some broad measures of value close to historic highs. Fever short sellers in the market means there is less selling pressure, tugging downward on those prices. It can also mean fever investors looking for overvalued stocks or ferreting out fraud. So, it's no surprise that the short sellers regularly get blamed for driving stock prices artificially low. During 2008 financial crisis, a few days after the collapse of Lehman Brothers, US regulators temporarily banned the shorting of financial stocks, fearing short sellers would undermine already weak trust in them and trigger a run on the system. I think this should be <laughs> all day, every day. They should forbid shorting stocks in general, in my opinion. Of course, uh, I believe shorting stocks should be available for people who are into investigation right if you are a detective about like financial scams like you know fake revenues fake products fake services fake balance sheets you're the one who can short everyone else average guy company hedge fund on wall street just have to chew and be long this is what i think <laughs> or invest in shiba in a coin <laughs> not a financial advice anyway nearly four years later a study by New York Fed economist and professor Notre Dame suggested that the ban did little to slow the decline of the bank stocks, which fell anyway. The restrictions also gummed up trading for bank stocks, raising trading costs in the stock and option markets by more than estimated $1 billion. I mean, guys, banks did so many bad investments before 2008-2009. Of course, people will lose trust even without the help of the short sellers. Come on. Shorting actively has been trending down since 2008, a few months before that temporary ban. Then it was nearly twice the force is it now, accounting for 2.6% of all shares in S&P 500. Just 1.3% of all shares of S&P 500 companies were sold short in August, according to data complied by Fact set. Wow. Guys, shorts are really disappearing. I think we're waiting for big catalyst for total disappearance of the shorts. Something known as MOAS. Anyway, my dear apes, subscribe to the channel. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Like it and come back for more.